Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Popular Fiction Challenge. And today we are joining Harrison just as he's come back from work. He's had a shower, he's feeling all nice and refreshed, he's had something to drink. He can... What, what are you doing? No, 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 no nap. We don't want you to nap, you're a vampire. Vampires don't nap. They do dark meditation. What do you mean there's no space? Oh, you Sims always complaining about something. There should be space. Let's move that over just a little bit. Let's try again. Uh, dark meditation. Really? No? What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Alright, come out here. Go here, and we'll try again. Let's move you out of the way. Uh, vampire. Uh, dark meditation. What? Okay. Should we go out here? Vampire. Dark meditation. Okay, what is stopping you? I don't understand, Harrison. What is stopping you? And now you're desperately hungry again. Why are you desperately hungry? You literally... Oh. I don't know. That is weird. Why doesn't he want to do... I don't know why he doesn't want to do that. Okay, well then go and nap if that's what makes you happy. But we have PowerPoints. We have PowerPoints to spend. So, you see, he has Guilty Drinker. All right, fine. Um, we have four PowerPoints, so we can do Vampire Creation, Garlic Immunity, Controls the Minds of Other Sims, Vampiric Strength, or vampiric charm. Well, he's got liberty, so we don't need that. I think if we take vampire creation, and cast hallucination, so we can do that, that's fine. But I don't know why he can't, why he couldn't um, do the the dark meditation thing. Because that's not as fun. What? Um, autos, uh, recover vampire energy by sleeping or using dark meditation. That's really strange. I wonder why he was complaining that there was no space. Oh, that he couldn't do it. But anyway, uh, Liberty, what are you doing? You are tense. Um, no, we're not going to this crazy party. What I wanted to do this week, I wanted to change one of the lot traits. I don't know if I'm going to end up regretting this, but as part of the Island Life um, pack, one of the new tr lot traits is... Um, where is it? Volcanic activity. Because even though we're not on Sulani, you can have volcanic activity at the house. Hopefully it won't demolish the house, but I want to see an action. So we're going to change it. Okay, Liberty, you need to, if you're tense, you need to go have a bath. And also, at the end of last week's episode, we left um, Harrison and Liberty take a bubble bath. Just take a bath. We left them woohooing. But 
we have the option to have a pregnancy test, but I don't want to, I'm not going to take a pregnancy test. I want to see what happens. We're going to go that route. But we really do need to, um, we need to chain, we need to decorate some of the upstairs. Uh, what do you want to do? Go and nap in your bed. Nope. Let's get you drinking some more plasma. And then we have to get you studying your, your pipe organ skills. Right, vampire law, we're doing good. Pipe organ is four. It's a pity it doesn't tell you how many levels, because I know vampire law is 15. Which is more than the average one. Um, come on, practice. And liberty, you should be soaking your cares away in the bath. So let's put this on medium fast. And she's gone to bed. So yes, as a vampire, he doesn't need much sleep. But that's going up... Mm, yeah, it's going up pretty fast. It might help if we put some nice pictures up here as well. We can get Vincent to, to put in some pictures. Put in some pictures to draw some pictures. So at least we can put them up on the walls and then he can get some kind of nice moodlets from that. What's it nicely decorated? All right, let's move that along just a little bit faster. And I want to see some kind of volcanic activity at least once before we do anything. See, I don't know what these are. I don't know why this comes under vampire stuff. The mosquitoes. Let's close that. Because they're kind of cute and all, but Echo is level five. What does that mean? Where are we? Pike Porgan. Um, to the ability to write songs. We will get there, I guess. Okay, swab patient for a sample. Is that what we're going to keep doing? Swabbing for samples and stuff? Uh, examine patient. Uh, no. Did we check patient's eyes or swab for a sample? Have we done all of these people? I think we have. Or I think they've all been done. Alright. All we can do is now treat them. So, because I remember before when I played this way back, that um, you would have to you you would have to like come to a conclusion before you could treat them. Okay, you can't treat anybody else, or you can treat her, but not um. Okay. Dr. Megan was coming to treat Sulani lady. What, what, what would you call somebody from Sulani? Sulanian? <laughs> okay. Um, examine, no. Treat patient. Prescribe medicine. So we're going to have to um, get in some more people. Mortimer Goth. And that's the only thing with the Island Living Pack. I can't pronounce half of the names that are in it. Examine patient. Uh, admit to a bed. And one of the Caliente sisters. Except she's now married. I'm pretty sure that's one of the Caliente sisters. Oh, we'd have we missed a child. Ah. 
Okay, let's hustle that up just a little bit. Do we have enough beds? We've only got four beds and I'm pretty sure I just admitted five people. So somebody's not going to get a bed. But you know, exclusive swanky hospital. Um, let's order some plasma packs. Um, how many can we get? Okay. We've done that. Uh, grab a plasma pack quick. After you admitted... Oh, at least the child got a bed. Which is fine. And we need to swab for a sample and check their eyes. I you know it in real life. In real life, kids get seen first. Did you drink? I'm sure he did. Uh, examine patient. Uh, check eyes. And swap for sample. Because, yeah, kids get seen first in real life. So I don't see why the sim should be any different. On Shibi? Huh? Ah. Ears? Did I take to check your ears? I swear, oh. That's me not being able to read. Okay, take a temperature. Uh, let me see, how's his job performance? Because it should be really good. Did you take a temperature? No, don't wash your hands. You're not going to catch anything from her. Take her temperature. Go on, Harrison. Thank you. Brand new. Okay. Discuss general health. Okay. What are you doing? He's browsing the. Harrison, will you get off of your phone and discuss general health? Okay, check her ears. We've done that by accident. Um, exam patient, check ears. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's one of the Caliente sisters. But I've got MC Command, MC Commander, so she's gonna, she's probably married to somebody. Okay, and transfer. And patient transfer parent pa parent case patient case. And we will send her to Doctor Megan because we like Doctor Megan. Okay, scan a patient at the X-ray machine. Can we scan you? Oberoi, Janelle. Okay, let's follow you to the x-ray machine. And... Okay, we've got an hour left. We might have to work a bit late. Stay late. Okay, what does that, uh, okay, he's not too sure. We scan, we scan their body. Oh no, scan with what though? Scan. Okay, while well, they're on the bed. Examine patient. Scan body. I want to take her temperature. Uh, 
check her eyes. Money up. Oh, 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 And then transfer her case to Kayan. Let the pepper. Ah. Alright, discuss general health. Let's come to you and discuss your general health. I mean, after all of this, he must be able to get a, a promotion. She wants tissues and she has a headache. Um, check her ears. We're going up in the into the silver range, which is good. Will you stop checking your damn phone? Check your ears. I mean, there's nothing in there, but you know, she's a land grab. You don't tell her there's nothing in there. And then we can transfer your case. To um, Mariko. And now we need to analyze a patient's sample. And no, not that machine. That needs repairing. Yeah, you need to, yeah, Dr. Kayan, you need to come off it. You've been on that all day. And you probably broke the other one. Because if we try to repair it, and it's not even let us go into... Is there another one? There's not another one. Ah. Oh, come on. All right, I don't even know where any puddles are. All right, he's come away now. Analyze patient sample. Come on, stop talking to him. I want you to do that before you go home. So at least then, you know, it's going to be touch and go. I don't think he's going to do it before he gets home, before it's time to go home. And he can't extend his work day anymore. Oh, he got a promotion. Excellent. Okay, now he's a medical technologist. He gets an additional 14 simoleons an hour. He gets new clothes, defeat the darkness, surgical light, and medical treadmills can be used. Okay. Right. Go there. Liberty's at work. And let's see what's in the um Okay. Yeah, that's no good for a home, but you know it's money. Right, you can finish that. Let's get you decorating that room upstairs. And I wonder if Liberty, well, we don't know. Oh, there you go. Liberty is pregnant. We may have gender, no, not we may have, because I don't think there is a specific gender. Oh no, but we've got to see if um, if this baby's going to be human. So we may have Generation 2 on the way. Which is always exciting. Um, and frame the canvas. That is always exciting. So Harrison, you're going to become a daddy. I wonder how 
how long it's going to take before we get a, a volcano strike. We might not though. But I've seen in other people's games where they have volcanic activity as a lock trait and you get the volcanic activity even though, you know, you're not on the volcano. Alright, well Harrison, let's actually, let's invite over the vampire people. What do you need? What else do you need to become a prime vampire? Let's, um, yeah, let's have a meeting of Vampires Anonymous. And what do we do? Just use vampire powers. Um, talk about Vampire Anonymous. Vampire. Request training. Although I guess he should be requesting training from um from Vlad Vladislaus. Vladislaus? I think that's what his name is. Yeah, from Vladislaus. Alright, Liberty. You are hungry. Go get something to eat. Because, you know, you're eating for two now. And disable food prep? I didn't know you could do that. Um, oh. Okay. Serve dinner. Vegetable dumplings. Because I'm pretty sure... Um, Harrison is vegetarian. Let's have a look. No, he's not. No, that's Liberty. Is he vegetarian? Yes, he is. I thought so. So you can do vegetable dumplings. The other vampires are watching TV because they can. Okay. Um, more choices, discuss plasma favours, you can share vampire knowledge I guess, discuss va vis the vampire flavours, discuss plasma flavours. Um, alluring visage, no, we're not going to do that. No, I need to be clicking on Vlad. I keep clicking on the wrong person. Friendly. Um. Vampiric Spar. I know he will get his butt handed to him, but, you know. I mean, if, if Harrison could beat him, that would be awesome. But we'll see what happens. Yep, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Okay, that's good. Get vampire points that way. Oh, we need to take on a weakness. Um, no. What does that mean we have to take on a weakness when we get... Oh, next reward is three power points and to take on a weakness. Okay. Alright, well then, um, fight Caleb then, I guess. Um... 
Yeah, spar with Caleb. Because I think that's that is the quickest way for him to to get stuff. To get stuff to get his vampire points. Where is Caleb? Oh, Caleb's playing with his sister. And also, we can fight her too. Um, Ira. Okay, Harrison, you're just standing there. You didn't even try. Everybody's kicking your butt. That's not even funny. All right, we need to get you training. Who are you? Oh, friendly introduction. Should we turn him into a vampire? Yes, I think we should. Because, I mean, Vampire Don Lothario, why not? And who was this dude that just came and picked a fight with Ira? Oh. Oh, he's from San Myshuno. Well, I don't know why you just went and pick a fight with her. But yeah, Vampire Don Lothario. That actually... That is actually interesting. I like that. Gosh. And a grape sir. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> and I think we should turn you too. Because Bit of wits. Yeah. Gipsy you loud. Nibana. We're gonna turn you too. Because we can. Okay, so he got that. He's a he's now a prime vampire. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 I wonder if he has some kind of psychic connection with the two of them, now that he's turned them. Okay, read the ultimate vampire tome, become a grandmaster, and survive for 20 additional days as a vampire. Okay, so he's going, he's going to have a nap. Um, let's put that in the fridge. And let's see what we can spend his vampire points on. I think withered stomach is fine. And we got three vampire points. So, vampire at charm. Game of love. Not really. I think you want the strength. That would work nicely. Okay, so he's sleeping. And let's end the gathering. Because, you know, we don't need them right now. So... Thanks everyone for watching, because I think we're going to end it there with um, <laughs> Harrison laughing in his sleep, and he's now a prime, prime vampire, he's turned two people into vampires, Liberty is pregnant with generation two, we're hoping, but time will tell to see whether the offspring will be a vampire or not because we won't get to see until they're a toddler so if they're not we're going to have to keep trying until we get a human baby because that's the stipulation for second gen 
We need a human baby. And liberty, what life state are you... No, not relationships. I always do that. Oh, she's still a young... Oh, that's true. She's still a young adult, but when she's pregnant, she can't age up. So, so yeah. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.